Good morning, folks. Dozens dead from lightning alone is a reality in India. Same with severe weather in China, where hail, landslides, and flooding have killed almost 40 people. What happens when a bully backs down from a threat? We're going to find out soon with these sanctions looming in Iran, who should probably keep fines like this under wraps if they don't want the U.S. government coming in and taking it. I swear each day I flip-flop on which Euro nation I think is going to bring it all down. Two great science articles here. This first one discusses a huge basin under the Antarctic ice sheet that is very vulnerable to collapse. And this one, discussing how gravity is being affected by an unknown force. It's a good read. Finishing off the RSOE, a 5.5 hit Cyprus yesterday, kind of caught us all off guard. And Vancouver Island, Canada has been shaking more than average for about a month. You can see the temporal variations upon multiple frequencies here. Imagine the earth like a guitar and a novice kid just strummed every string haphazardly. Well, the kid here is a continuing coronal hole stream. Not as fast as her peak right now, but still well above 500 kilometers per second. We do have another one on the way. But look above the yellow and there's almost no density again. You can see that deficit of particles here on the Ovation Prime, and that's the primary reason why the full magnetic storm has not materialized. Having a look at the primary active region, the back side of the spot is in decay, but there is still potential for instability where the red and the blue swirl together at the front here. We also have a new set of active regions turning the northeastern limb, and they are already appear uh, mature and bipolar. Luckily, both of these active regions are nowhere near the Earth footprint. It's good to finally have this updated again. Around that time, the next coronal hole stream is hitting or dying down. These two eruptions here will hit Earth. You can see the filament and the active region go off here, and the endless spiral indicates likely impact with Earth. That's Jupiter creeping behind the sun there, set to conjoin tomorrow. We're about a week away from the solar eclipse, folks, and we're just getting started after that. Solar watch is full, quake watch is building. Be safe, everyone.